Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of interactive fluid simulations that has particles and foam in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.4 nice. So here I will be selecting this camera light and you will delete them. Now let's use this cube so select the cube press S X and increase the scaling in X axis. Now again press S Y and increase the scaling in Y axis. So this is going to be the source for liquid so press 3 on the keyboard for side view Z hold control key Z and move along the axis here now being selected this object go to this object options come to this quick effects and add quick liquid so now you can see we got a box created around this fluid emitter which is called domain so basically domain means the simulation will happen inside this domain only so now let's increase the scale of this domain also so s x and increase the scaling in x axis like this and also let's increase the scaling in y axis so s y and increase the scaling in y axis so i think this much is fine so press 3 for side view and let's place this just above to the grid so g z and let's place them here so i think this much is fine now select this domain come to this physics property so type let it be domain and domain type let it be liquid so resolution for time being i will change this to 64 and here border collisions i will disable this above border so i will disable this top border so that the liquid will not collide with the top border so scroll down so simulation change it to apic and let's bring it here a bit so particles maximum i will change this to 200 and minimum let it be 16 now scroll down come to this particles option enable this spray and foam enable this mesh option so here we got this catchy option if you want to save catchy in any desired location you can change it here i have selected a folder where i can save the catch data so frame start and end i will leave this to 1 to 300 i will increase this to 300 or else let it be 250 only why to take risk and type change it to all so if you want to pass the back at any moment you can enable this ease resumable option okay so with this the domain settings are done now select this source where the fluid will be getting emitted now type let it be flow flow type change it to liquid and flow behavior let it be geometry so that means we'll get the liquid emitted in the shape of this object only and sampling substeps i will increase this to 5 expand this flow source and enable this ease planar option so i think these much settings are fine now here i will add another object like i will use i will be using aeroplane that will be having crash land into this water so here I got a free model from Sketchfab. Download link in the description if you want to use the same. So go to this file. Import. It is an GLTF file. So select the file. You can see we got the plane right. Let's reduce the scaling. Press S and reduce the scaling here. And let's bring it. So here we want this plane to be a single object. So if I select this, this is not a single object. So let's combine this first. So select everything here control plus j to join them and let's hide this connection lines so drop down and disable this relationship lines so it is not visible now let's reduce scaling further a bit so press 7 for top view so make sure this plane is inside this domain only so let's reduce still further so i think this much is fine now we need to have this origin point at the center of the plane so being selected this plane come to this object set origin origin to geometry now we got that at the center 
So now let's animate the play. So beyond this first frame, let's place this plane. I think let it be here. Okay. So let it be here. So press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location and rotation. So now move forward like 40 frames in the timeline and let's place this plane here. Let's bring it here. Press 3 for side view and let's rotate this a bit. So let it be like falling and press I add a keyframe for location and rotation. So now here we got this animation, right? Okay. So let's add rigid body physics onto the plane. So select the plane, come to this physics properties and add rigid body. So now if I play this, you can see the object will be falling down at the time only. So here we got keyframes for this plane, right? So we need to enable this animated option. So type let it be active only because we want the movement. And here we need to enable this animated option since this plane got animation right we can see we got this location animation right so let's add this animated option and add a keyframe here i've come to the last frame here also add a keyframe for this animated option make sure this is enabled now move one frame forward at 41 frame disable this animated option and add a keyframe so from 1 to 40 this rigid body physics will not act on the plane and after 40 frames only, this rigid body physics will act. So now let's see this. So if I play this now, you can see the plane is falling down exactly, but it is having some momentum. So let's select all the keyframes here by pressing A on the keyboard, press T and make it linear. Now we will have the difference. So now if I play this, you can see the plane is falling through this cube or the object. Now let's add another plane in order to avoid this plane to fall in infinity. So go to this add mesh select plane here, press S and increase the scaling. So now being selected this plane, come to this physics property once again, add rigid body and type change it to passive. So now if I play this, you can see the plane will not be fall into infinity. Nice. So I think let's bring everything a bit forward here like this. Okay. And let's check this once again. Nice. So this is the result what I needed. So here let's avoid the sliding. So let it go on wireframe mode only. Or else let's come here. Select this domain. Properties. Visibility. Viewport visibility. Sorry and make it as white okay so here the plane is sliding a lot on this ground plane right so let's increase the friction of this ground plane so select this plane come to this physics property come to the service response and increase the friction here so 0.75 let's check this nice so this is the result which I'm looking for. So now this plane is interacting with the plane. And in order to make this plane interact with the fluid, we need to add fluid properties onto this plane also. So here we have added this rigid body property onto this plane and also onto this ground plane in order to make this plane object interact with this ground plane, right? In the same way, we need to add fluid property onto this aeroplane in order to make this aeroplane interact with this fluid. So select this aeroplane, physics property, add fluid, scroll down, but fluid type, we need to change this to effector. And samplings, I will increase this to six. I think this much is fine, nice. So now let's bake the simulation. So select the domain, save this before baking the project. So now being selected this domain, come to this physics property, scroll down and just click on this bake all button. So here the bake is done and we got our simulation ready. So before do that, let's select this domain, come to this visible properties of object and display as change it to wireframe to solid. So we got that solid visibility. Nice. So we got the liquid and now you can see we got our plane interacting with the fluid. Nice. 
so here i am satisfied with the result and now let's add objects for this particle so here you can see we got this particles right so we need to add separate objects for this particles let's do that so for that i will be using few available objects only so go to this add mesh come to this mesh here i will be using ecosphere so press tab select any vertex enable this proportional option and let's bring this difference a bit select any vertex deform this one let's see deform let's see. so here i got these two shapes right now select these two objects press m on the keyboard add them to a new location here i will name this as foam and spray and hit okay so we got these two objects in this foam and spray now let's add them onto these particles here so for that select this domain come to this particle properties so here we got this spray and foam right so select the spray come to this render options render as change it to collection and here in instance collection change this to our foam and spray so we got this particles here so let's reduce the scaling to 0 0.025 and i will increase the scale randomness to one in the same way select the foam so now we got our fluid simulation interactive fluid simulation done so in this way we can create this kind of interactive fluid simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye